In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to make a complete new project with Unreal um, and how to set up realistic blueprint weapons to work in that project. So you download the engine and you launch the latest version of the editor. It's just going to take a while and if you already know how to set up inputs and uh, how to use uh, realistic blueprint weapons don't bother watching this video um, I start the editor and I go under new projects I select blank no starter content and I give it a path I'm just calling it RBW demo create the project this is going to take just a little while and while that it's doing that, make sure you, you have the latest version of this one, uh, Realistic Blueprint Weapons. Uh, I can see that it is loaded already, and I'm going to add this to a project. And this is the project I just created, and I'm adding it to this project. Verifying, and it is added. Um, then we go to the editor and we have this blank project. I can press play, but nothing happens. To fix this, go to blueprints and game mode, select game mode class and select my game. This note, my game is one that is included in realistic blueprint weapons and it is located right here and once I have selected that I can and I can zoom fire, but I can't really move so we need to set up some inputs to see what inputs we need we can open the my character blueprint and we can see we need some input access turn and input access lookup. So we're going to create those settings. Oops, where is it? Uh, settings and then project settings input. And we want access mappings for this, as you can see here. Input access and turn and look up uh, the values that we are looking for so we have added one calling it turn mouse x save this and let's see what happened I can now turn left and right. That was easy. Let's make another one. Whoops. There it is. New access mapping. Call it lookup. Is that the name? Look up with a capital U. Good thing we checked. And mouse Y. Okay. Save this. Uh, it's inverted so this is not good we need to fix that so we are just going to set the scale to negative one save it and try again yay it's correct what's next input action jump okay that's not an axis mapping that's an action mapping so let's make one call it jump and I'm just going to set it to spacebar there we go hit play and we can jump we can jump so that's awesome next up we need to just going to put the project settings here and there's a tab up here whoops and the event graph just try compiling and at least three go away 
So what do we need more? We have input access move forward and we're going to set that up. So we're just gonna call it move forward. And for this one, we want the W key, but then we want, and this is just forward, but we need a back key as well. So we add another one, put an S and see if we can find the S key. There it is. And negative one. And we are feeling lucky. So we're going to do the move right as well, straight away without testing. Add another access mapping move right and right we want D for right and we want a negative one as well we're gonna put that on the A key that's here and remember to set it to negative one so let's see save it and then I can move right and left forward and back I can jump awesome so let's see um, that's actually all the the things that we have so we have now set it up and I have the controls here um, I've set it up to use there are two ways to do this you can just type in left mouse and you get the left mouse button but you can also, let's say we want to add an action mapping for fire. So fire and left mouse button. So now we have an action mapping called fire. And instead of having left mouse button here, we can type in fire. We actually have an event called fire it's that we can hook up. And that takes care of our left mouse button. This is the pretty way to do it. This is for you guys. So you don't have to set up all this stuff. But if you want your own keys, you have to change this. And these would be action mappings. And basically, you are now... You have set up the project. And now you just need to go ahead and create some weapons. I hope this was useful. See ya.